At times, I wonder if I had addressed the problems early on, I wouldn't be filing for divorce right now. I, I just wish I'd done something, anything, instead of just waiting for the problem to resolve itself. That was my biggest mistake. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy No, the Anova. And I just wanna spread some love out here, you know? Love, love, love. When the night falls, so do all our inhibitions Thank God they don't bring back the prohibition Mankind needs liquid courage No longer afraid to love, we let it flourish Let it bloom like a flower in adversity Another lesson from that Disney University Certainly you understand love means the world to me So let's have a toast to spread it like it's buttery Smooth sailing, drinks in the air It's the age of Aquarius, we just don't care Somebody yelling about recessions back there But love's free and what we need is more sad warfare Look in your girl's eyes, look in your man's eyes Become one with whomever your dedication lies And if you alone before they go and cut the lies Find somebody else who by themselves and get a ride This is the rhythm of the night Chris, what are you doing? Working extra hard because Patois over here is slacking. Who? Who's Patois? You mean Sean over there? Sean? I thought his name was Patois. John, no. Oh, shit. My bad. Hey, Patois. My bad. I thought your name was Patois. I'm sorry. Did you see that? See what? See what, Chris? You just gave me the finger. So? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, we can just give people look, birds? Look, look, look. Look, I just want you to be sure that Christopher is right for you before you even think about moving in with him. Look what happened to me. Courtney, I really don't think I'm moving fast. I think we're going at a good pace. Okay, you're doing the speed limit, but he's in left-hand lane without a seatbelt. Okay, that, that's just not true. He may have issues to work on before we jump in the fast lane, I'll admit that. Such as? Such as? Such as him not being able to keep a job? He can keep a job. You're fired. Get the hell out of here. I'm fired. No, yes, you fired. How you gonna fire me? I'm the assistant manager. I do the firing around here, not you. You just the manager. I'm the assistant manager. You better get them words right. They're all wrong with him. Talk. I'm fired. You fuck about this goddamn job. Fuck your job. Y'all better have my goddamn check when I come back. I know that much. Need my goddamn money. Shit. I'm wrong with y'all. Look, Carlos, you can't fire me. Look, man, it's a special day. You cannot fire me, Carlos. Look. What the hell is that? Are you proposing me? No, it's an engagement ring. And? I'm, I'm proposing to my lady later on. I just got off a layaway. I really need this job. You're fucking my life up by firing me today. What? Yes. No, you messed up your own fucking life. You're a damn fuck up, and what girl would want to marry you in the first place anyway? She's gonna marry me. No. She's gonna no. marry me. She's not. She's no, no. no. She's She's gonna gonna On player, bust that ass. Pause. <laughs> Are you pathetic? First, how many fucking jobs has it been that you've been fired from? I'm pathetic. Yeah, you are. I'm pathetic. A lot. Nigga, you just moved out your mom crib and you moved straight into your girl crib. It don't even matter. I moved out though, don't it? It was just last week. What the fuck? <laughs> My God, dude, look with his girl. Don't even not act. Don't get the hell out of here. He ain't got no money in his pocket. You gotta wait till your girl to come home just for you to get something to eat. Like, you I can't do it. nothing for yourself. I got a debit card. It's a rush card. There ain't no money on it. Oh. 
Oh, man. Oh, shit, man. God damn. What? Did you drop something? Yeah, my engagement ring, man. What, what, what was it? What did it look like? What do you mean what it looked like? Like a ring. Oh, you better hope I find this shit, man. I found it. Man, give me the goddamn ring, man. Give me the ring. Listen, you better watch where the hell you going after the next time you ask. What the hell you say to me? Or oh, I'll shop the look at my fucking. Hope I didn't keep it too long. Had a little accident with a little bike. No, but you are disturbing my read. Why are you in the park pretending like you're reading the book? Let me see this. Haha, <laughs> cat in the hat, huh? <laughs> Give me that. Little child's book. Anybody can read. I can read that book. So about the accident. Huh? You said you got into an accident. What happened? Oh no, guy ran into me with his bike. Fun that nigga. Chris, what did you do? Man, what I do? The guy hit me, apologized, and he went on his way. Are you lying? Why would you say that? Because the last time somebody ran into you, you broke their nose. Well, that usher had it coming to him. He need to watch who was going with that collection plate. Shoot. You have such a serious anger problem. Why do you keep turning down therapy? Do we have to talk about this right now? Come out this Saturday. See DJ Ice rock the house. Ladies free till midnight. Here you go, ma'am. Come on out, DJ. No, no, no. Trust me. You will not. You do not want to miss this party. You don't want to miss it. DJ Ice rock the house all the time. Ladies free till midnight. You know this is where I first, uh, we first met, right? No, it isn't. Why are you saying that's it? This is where I first saw you. First of all, that's creepy because I didn't see you. As I recall, you followed me to work, pretended to be a delivery guy, and got the floor that I was working on. So technically in front of my building is the first place we met. Tickets can be purchased at the local barbershop. Come on out and just Google my name, DJ Ice. Well, this is more suitable for the lovely occasion anyway. More suitable for what? Bring your girl out, DJ Ice, DJ Ice Party. Ladies free till midnight, man. My man, my man, don't you see me going something with my lady? Bring your girl, ladies free till midnight. No, no, my man, I'm, I'm busy over here, man. I'm talking, I'm trying Listen, to Listen, man, nothing's more important than the DJ Ice Party, man. Nobody wants to come on, man. Come on, man. DJ Splice, fuck out of here, DJ man. DJ Ice, man. Ice, Splice, Spice, same shit. I'm just trying to do my job, man. Your job trying to piss me off today? That's what you trying to do? I got to grind till I die yeah. out here, man. Dude. It's hot, man, I got bills to pay, yeah. let's go. All right, dude, get out my face, man. Fuck out of here, man. Hey, motherfucker. Did I just take it out of there, man? What are you doing? DJ Ice. What's wrong with you, man? God, man. It ain't me, man. It's the people around me. It ain't me. They the crazy ones. I'm cool. I'm sane. I'm straight. Oh. Listen, Sharon, I know that I've been doing a Can you a please spare a dime? Oh, I ain't got no goddamn dime, man. I don't have a cigarette neither. Chris. Well, how about you go take a shower? Can, Can I use your shower? Use my shower? Oh, what? Chris. Be nice. Here. Be nice. Be nice. Don't wait. So you gonna give them? Thank you, ma'am. God will bless you. Well, I'm gonna do drugs. And you, son. God already hates you. Yeah, I, I can tell there's no goddamn fucking help for you, ass white. What? Ass white? Man, what do you think you're talking to, Chris. man? What do you mean? This is what I'm talking about. You call me ass you white. You can't be doing stuff like that. Oh, so you gonna let somebody call you ass white? Exactly. Don't call me a goddamn ass white. Nobody call me no goddamn ass white. Shoot, I came here to do one thing, to talk to my lady, and I keep getting interrupted by all these bums and promoters and stuff. Jesus, man, I just want to do one thing. Oh, come on, what change. is it? What is it that you're trying to tell me? Baby, listen, I know I got issues. Shit, we all do. Me and you, though, as a team, I know we can get through it. You hear me? What? Happy Saturday, autograph. Oh, it would be so nice to get an autograph. I hope you don't mind me sending my daughter over, but I was too nervous to ask. Oh, by the way, I thought the judge was wrong. Judge? Lady, what are you talking about? Are you that guy that had to be restrained on Judge Joe Brown? No! You got the wrong black man, lady. Okay? No, no. I, I'd like no criminal when I see one, dude. Um, look, you even got prison stripes on. Excuse me? Lady, I am trying to have a peaceful time with my woman, okay? Can you please get the... Can you please just get out of here? Please. 
Frank. You fucking loser. Yeah, you fucking loser. What? Did y'all hear that? Mama the year right there, huh? Wow. Wow, both of us a little short, huh? I don't believe that. So where were we? I can't believe you just lied to that little girl's face like that. What are you talking about? It was you on that show. Hey, worry about them. I got bigger things to accomplish here. Come here, baby. Chris, I got no, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up. I can't let you do this. You're not gonna like my answer. What are you, what do you mean I ain't gonna like the answer? What are you, what are you talking about? I can't marry you like this, Chris. Like what? Because I got a hoodie on? Like what? Like this, you have an anger problem. And you really need to deal with it. I'm working on it. No. I want to marry somebody that not only loves me, but is actually going to be there. I'm not trying to spend my honeymoon in a prison visiting room, Chris. Wow. Listen, your temper is way too unpredictable. I don't want to have to worry about what's going to happen if somebody says something to you or somebody puts pickles in your sandwich. But you was there when a the guy put the pickles in my sandwich. I asked him twice. No pickles. You deserve that bustle lip and you know that. Baby, listen, it's all fun in the beginning, but you're talking about me being your wife. You got to change for something like that. I have to change, huh? I have to change. I got to change. Bye. I've changed. I'm a whole new man. Come on, I'm serious. I'm not going to marry you if you can't control your temper. Okay, fine, fine. What, what, do, you, what do you want me to do? Hmm? What you want me to do? I'll do it. Just, just let me know what you want me to do and I'll do it. Okay. And I'm only doing this because I really want to be with you. All right. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> Come on, stop playing, Shane. For real. Sis, stop playing. No, I'm serious. What the hell are you talking about? What, what the? Us breaking up is the only way that it's going to work. You have to go a whole month without losing your temper. If you can do that, I'll marry you. A Simple whole, as that. A whole month? A whole month. I can do that. A whole month. How many days in a month, though? Today's the last day of the month. And Fine, let's do this month. Next month has 30 days. Just be glad it's not 31. Because I don't think you'd last that long. <laughs> oh, really? I can do it. Okay. I can do 30 days. 30 days. 30 days. No incident. No incident. And you're a marriage. Fine, I can do it. Let's All go. Right. Let's hope you can do it. Yo, no disrespect, no shit like that, but Chris, I used to think you was one of the craziest dudes I know. But, um, your chick, I think she on some old real crazy shit for, uh, the stuff she about to pull. Chris, she ain't crazy. She know exactly what she's doing, dog. How yeah. the hell would you know? When the last time you had sex? Real sex. Not that old hand job shit and the picnic from your third cousin. We ain't talking about that. Okay, first of all, Snap, I haven't found the right woman to connect with on an emotional and a spiritual level. Man, I'm not trying to connect shit. It's called fucking. It. It's called intercourse. Don't you need a Google map to find some pussy? Whatever, dog. And like I said, I haven't connected with the right woman on a right emotional and spiritual level. Because that's going to make the experience that much better. You probably one of them dudes you need that. Need to get hype from uh, like getting a kiss at the end of the night. You playing it out, like, I'm, I'm going to go in for the kill. That's you. Why am I listening to a dude that doesn't even kiss his girl in the mouth? I, I mean, you live with your mom until you was 30. First of all, I'm not 30. Let's get that out the way, clearly. 29 and 6 months. And as for you and my business about me kissing my girl, Whatever first off, I don't know where the fuck she been at before me. And I know what that have to do while she with me. So I ain't got a kiss in the mouth. I don't trust the bitch. Whatever, dog. Chris, you all right? I just don't know what the hell Sharon thinking, man. Oh, I know exactly what she's thinking. She's only doing this to make your relationship that much stronger, dog. Listen, man, don't screw this up. Because I'm trying to find my future wife at your future wedding. Listen, i just put it in like this. Keep listening to this dude right here. You're going to end up in the DDS. What the hell is the DDS? You don't know what the DDS is? What is it? The dry dick syndrome. Oh, okay. See, taking advice from this guy, you'll end up on Maury. I don't give a damn if I end up on Maury. You know why? Because I still ain't accepting the baby. Because my mama told me the baby don't look like me. Ha! How you feel about that one? Listen, man. All you got to do is lay low for about a month. 
Don't blow your top and keep your cool. I mean, how bad could it be? I didn't tell you guys everything. Spit it out, pimp. Me, you boys. <sighs> Sharon talking about dating another guy. Shit! Ooh, what? Listen, fuck that. Look, you want me to hook you up with my cousin? I, she told me a couple weeks ago she did some freaky shit with some nigga. You want me to hook up with cousin? Because I got you. I don't want nobody. I want Sharon. What do you mean she's going to be dating other guys? She's going to be fucking. That's what she's going to be doing. What you need to be doing. What you don't do. Fucking. Doesn't mean she's going to be fucking. Chris, a date is just a date. That's all it is. To regular people. Yo, you need to start listening to this motherfucker. Because your girl going to be fucking dudes 30 days and 30 nights. That's straight whole... Banging, pow. You know what, you know what? Don't listen to this idiot. I'm sure Sharon has a good reason for doing this. So, do you really think Christopher is gonna go along with all this? Christopher really doesn't have a choice. Uh, he could just leave you. Yeah. Alright, don't you think that you're being a bit dramatic with this whole 30 days thing? No. <laughs> if Chris can't go 30 days without putting his hands on somebody, I don't want to spend the rest of my life with him. <laughs> well, I don't know what you saw in the first 30 days you spent with him, but... Do you even have a plan? You need to just leave this tire behind and forget this whole game. What neither one of you understand is that I really do love him. I want to make this work. I'm never going to get him into therapy, so this is my way of getting him on the couch. <laughs> and I have no problem with that old couches. Yeah! Give me some! What? Chris thinks therapy is for crazy people. There's no way I'm ever gonna get him in there. Then he'll fit right in. My cousin's in therapy. For what? Nothing. I know this experiment seems silly to you guys, but I really think it's gonna help him. Uh, either that or he'll just end up spending the rest of his life in jail, thanks to you. Chris won't come to the couch, so I'm just bringing the couch to Chris. And I guess I should've told you Oh, it's like that? I told you I was sleeping. I just wanted to see you, you know, for tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. Why we gotta play this ridiculous game? Why don't you just call the whole thing off? I can't. Yeah, you can. All you gotta do is be like, Chris, call it off. <laughs> All you gotta do is come to a therapy session. Just no, no, one no. No. session. Nah, nah, just I Just one. No, no, I'm not coming to see no shrink now. Come on. I'm not crazy. I got no Charles You don't Madison. have to be crazy to see a therapist, this, Chris. This game is crazy. Like, who put that man on pause just to... Just Keep to... your voice down. I think this is foolish. I'm supposed to just be okay with you going out with all these different men. Come on. That's, that's a dumb experiment. I'm not no guinea pig. I'm a man. I know what it is, though. Yeah, I can see through them little pretty brown eyes. I know what it is. You don't really want to marry me, do you? Oh, no, Chris, I do want to marry you. That's why I'm doing this. Well, marry me then. Right now. Come on. Right now. Just say yes, right? You gotta prove that you can change. Alright. Game on, Sharon. Game on. Son? Yeah. What rap group do you belong to? Because I love, like, Public Enemy. Like, don't, 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 don't believe the hype. Get out of here, man. I ain't no rapper, man. What's wrong with you, man? They a black guy, so you hey. think he's a rapper? Go ahead, man. Sorry. Be gone. Hello, can I start you guys off with a drink? Sure. We'll have two rum and cokes, please. No, actually, can I have a Shirley Temple, please? All right. I'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome. Why are you trying to give me liquor in the middle of the day? I apologize. Forgive me. I I thought that was your drink. I remember that being your drink in college, but I guess... Oh, that yeah. was a long time ago. 
long time ago. May I help you? Who gonna help you? Excuse me? Hey, just give me a table, man. Looking like this? Boy, you lucky I'm in rehabilitation stages right now. I assume you'll be eating alone. Follow me. Ain't that some shit? Just still just as beautiful as back in college. Looking good, girl. Let them dimples. That's so funny. Hey, hey, hey yo, bus boy! Come here! Excuse me. I'm not a bus boy. I'm a greeter. What the fuck is the difference from a bus boy and a greeter? Two different things. Wow, really? It's probably the same pay scale, though. But listen, how about you go over there with your two different jobs that you got and find out what the hell is so goddamn funny over there? I'll get you later. Nigga. That's that, that's that light skin shit, man. So Sharon, how's life been treating you? Not bad. I can't complain. Even if I try, I just think of my patients and they deal with a lot of tough stuff, so. I'm sure they do deal with a lot of tough oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Being yeah. crazy and all that, you know. That's never good. Well, I don't like to use the word crazy. Right, I'm, that, was, that was out of line. That's I apologize, very, yeah, I apologize. It's very unprofessional. If you ask me, them patients got it pretty good. Why is that? They get to see you every day. I only get to see you just for one night. Come on, Tyson. I told you I'd come out, but you had to behave yourself. I'm sorry, forgive me. What was I thinking? What's going on? Will you be ready to order now? Can we just have a few more minutes? Not a problem. No. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Can you excuse me for a moment? Of course. Hello? Listen. I'm out with somebody right now. You gotta stop calling me. All you gotta do is breathe easy. I'm gonna bring your ass me, punk. Leave me alone. I'm on a date. I don't care you gave birth to me. That was 35 years ago. Ma, ma, listen. Listen, you've had asthma for over 45 years. Why all of a sudden you need a pump when I'm out on a date? I'm on a date right now. Ma, look, look, bitch, bitch, I'm tired of you talking to me like that. What? Fuck you too. Fuck you too, ma. Ma, this that book. See? See, this is why dad left your ass, because you, you don't know how to talk to people. Ma, that's fuck. All right, I'm saying, man. Just, you know, dad wasn't there, and I, I just ain't been right since. Sharon, what are you doing? <sighs> this is for Chris. It's only going to help him. It's got to help him. Look, lady, you're going to breathe when I get there. All right, mother. Right, I love you too. Have a great evening. Be safe. It's my mom. Beautiful lady she is. One, maybe okay? one day you play your cards right, you can meet her. <laughs> she okay? She's fine, she's fine. Thanks for asking. An elderly woman was rushed to the hospital this morning. Paramedics are reporting she suffered a parent asthma attack. She seems to be doing well. In other news, a police officer was caught driving his vehicle butt naked in the car. Hey, Thomas. When did you get here? I didn't know you was having company, babe. Wait, I ain't no baby. He just showed up. You called me over. What's up, Maya? How's this uh, free little treat you? <clears throat> uh, what was that? I said, what's up? How's world? How's the world treating you? Pretty good. Okay, that's good. So tell me, Thomas, are you still single? Yeah, well, you know single as a motherfucker. No nothing. Babe, stop. Why you gotta be so damn mean all the time? Thomas can get any girl he wants. I mean, he's cute, charming, smart, sensitive. You forgot Virgin, baby. Um, my, my, I heard that uh, Walmart down there on the boulevard was hiring for dishwashers, <laughs> stock boys, and uh, miscellaneous. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, so that means he could just be climbing on the wall. He'd he be all right, though. Oh, really? Did you know that, babe? Yep, I did. And I was going, and then he showed up. So, it kind of stopped me. You so you're putting the blame on him now? You call, but I'm definitely here. going. You know, I'm gonna definitely go. It's the first me. of the month, so it's a little crowded. To come over here. Everybody getting their excess cards. They got that, you know, food stamps. So it'll be packed. So they probably ain't gonna pay me no mind. So I'll probably go on Monday. Monday I can put my suit on. You don't even have no suit. And go down there and you know fill out the application, and get the job. Uh, first off, don't put the blame on him. Okay. Sure. 
True. Second off, you need to be a little more productive. Enough with your excuses, okay? And I hope you get your ass down there due to the fact that you cannot be sitting around playing video games all day. I don't give a shit. Hell, Neil, you put them away. Old games, <laughs> too. Ain't even no new shit up in here. Get a job. I'm right. tired of this shit, too. You know, that's just my own personal uh, belief. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to the grocery store. Do you guys want anything? I would like a bag of chips. Bring this nigga a job application. Uh, and some milk. Yeah, and some milk. All right, cool, no problem. Hey, yo, Thomas, um, while you're here, can you do me a favor? Our computer's been acting up. Do you mind taking a look at it for us? Yeah, I mean, there's some shit going on. Yeah. Yeah, pulling up porn? Porn up? Probably. Oh, no, it's okay, yeah, I'll fix that. Got a couple bugs and I'll fix that. Get that video he showed me y'all off of there to... Oh, my... Yeah, what? Yeah, okay, my bad. Um, I'll fix that. And, you know, y'all be straight. All right? All right, thank you. Hey, see rock Not right now. Come on, not right now. Thank what? you. Fellas, What's up, I survived. I made it through day one. Nice. Relax, it's just day one. So what that mean? If I can make it through day one, that means I can make it through the rest of the days, right? <laughs> so who's this guy? I met some old college friend of hers, man. Like a fake group of studies, if you ask me. <laughs> he, got, he got like a split personality, though. Yo, it's funny, this chick Sharon, she really know how to pick out some psychos. Seriously. So what you trying to say? You think I'm a psycho? I just got an anger problem. Matter of fact, correction, I don't have it anymore. I'm straight, but this guy she was with last night, uh -huh. he got some issues. So you try to tell me anger isn't the issue right now? Wait a what's this guy's issue? He got like Tourette's or something. Damn Tourette's. Shit, so uh, so she, he just like you, but he got an excuse, that's what you say? Wait a what's the plan, dog? This is the plan. I made it through day one, so I'm gonna treat day one like the rest of the 29 days, and I'm gonna make it through. Ha <laughs> ha, you know what I'm saying, fellas? Mm -hmm. I'm making it, man. I'm telling you, man, after these 30 days, whoo, Sharon's going to be my wife. So, you and Chris broke up, huh? We're just taking some time apart. How's his temper? He's working on it. You think it's a good idea to be seen with me in public? I mean, after all, I don't want to end up like the last guy. You have nothing to worry about, trust me. So, what's in the bag? I'm glad you asked. Well, you always said you wanted to learn about computers, so I figured why not teach you a little something on our lunch break? All right, the first lesson of the day is I have a USB flash drive memory stick. What's up, peoples? How we doing? <laughs> James was just nice enough to give me some free computer lessons. What do you need computer lessons for? You're a shrink. I'm a psychiatrist. Hey, and besides, we get computer glitches just like anybody else. And James is our top IT guy on the floor. So I thought he could show me a few things. From the top, huh? Well, maybe a third or fourth from the top. She's exaggerating. Third or fourth? If I work there, I'd be number one. You know I know about computers, baby. Come on. I know about modems and apps and stuff like that. Let me help out. I'm going to go. Since pull. when? Besides, James and I are doing just fine. James, you don't mind if I sit down, right? Come on. What are you doing? I'm doing what you told me to do. I'm observing. No, this is not part of the rules. I'm the only one that's supposed to be able to see you. Only me. What? What is this? Like, you all know, this old psycho looking dude, looking like Steve Urkel. This, it's not going to cure me. Like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with your little stupid experiment, man. Like, say it's like, come on, it's not going to work. Like, me and you supposed to be on our honeymoon right now. Laying down, you and your two-piece, you know what I'm saying? We'll be getting it all. Like, come on, like, who? We're gonna get jealous of something like that. I gotta get back over here. Oh, Is he all right? You don't have to worry about Chris. Let's get back to work. He's looking at me right now, isn't he? James, you don't have to worry about him. He's harmless. You don't understand. I'm a bleeder. And if I, get, I can't get blood on this new shirt. <laughs> Sharon, just let me go apologize to him. I'll tell him I'm sorry and I didn't know you guys were still together. We're not. James. Yes. Can we get back to this? All right. First thing, I want to show you my favorite gadget ever invented. It's the Apple iPad. What the is he running for? What? I was just coming to say goodbye. Bullshit. You're breaking the rules. There's ain't no rules. The rules said I couldn't see or say hi. Either one ran. I ain't angry. 
I'm supposed to be angry. That's the rule, not to get angry. I'm not angry. I'm good. Look, do I look angry? I don't feel angry. I'm good. What are you talking about? Nobody angry. This is some punk motherfucker. Shit, come on. You got a new iPad. Shit, it's eyes, man. She said for 30 days, prove my anger is controllable. Put me in different situations, unapproachable. No, we don't do this. I say this for my special clients. You've been training me for a while. I thought it was about time that I saw this special. Woo! Ah! Feel like I'm at the bay. All the guys hot and sweaty. Shirts all soaked, nipples poking out. Ugh. Come on, give me energy. Shouldn't we stretch first? And why are you screaming? I'm sorry, it's just when I'm out here in this park, I feel like I'm at home. You know, you got the monkey bars, the swings, all that. This ain't no girly planet. Come on, this is that raw. I know, but it's just when I'm at the gym, you don't know what I'm feeling right now. Ooh, I feel free out here. This is that raw. 18, 19, 20. After I'm doing my triceps, it's gonna be your turn. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit of extra attention for your triceps. So what is it about the playground that you like so much better than the gym? What you mean? This is the essence of it all right here. You can't get this type of workout in no gym. Yeah, when I was in the pen, this is that roar right here. We didn't have no elliptical, elliptical, whatever type of shit y'all used to use. Yeah, we just had weights and concrete, that's it. Yeah, just weights and concrete. When somebody was ready to shank you, it was on. It didn't matter, you still got a good workout. that crazy man right there? Yeah. He just took the swing from the sun, man. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. He my son used to the swing. You want this swing, little man? Huh? Come and get it. Yeah. He's fine. You see some? We are too early. People in the junk don't go anywhere in the light. Come and get this, little man. Yeah. Okay, does lateness run in your entire family? Girl, I don't know what's going on. I tried to text him, but his phone probably ran out of minutes. But don't worry, he'll be there. What do you mean no minutes? You mean you sent me on a date with somebody that can't even afford a prepaid phone? Hey, don't judge my cousin, okay? He may not be all together, but at least he got his GED. He works hard for that. Besides, Boost Mobile has some good rates. Plus, his number can't be traced by the feds. The feds? And what exactly do you mean he may not have it all together? Um, listen, I gotta go under the dryer right now, so I'll call you back, all right? Love you, mean it. You don't get no play, you just get denied, boy. I'm Sharon? Look at the dudes. Kay's cuts up. Hi, I'm Sharon. All right. What the hell is that? Chris was crazy out the womb. He came out angry, howling Wait. like DMX. Wait, no, 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 no,
I'm not gonna make it to <laughs> even see him recover. <laughs> oh. Listen, here you go with my cousin yeah. again. <laughs> no, here you go with your cousin. You had no business sending me out with that. I know that was wrong. That was wrong. That was just that I wrong. Mean, that was wrong. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Thank you, Philly Parking Authority. Thank you very much. Is that you? Oh <laughs> my God, you got to be kidding me. Oh my God. Oh, what a surprise. A surprise indeed. Are you back in the city? No, it's just your imagination. Okay. <laughs> yes, Good. temporarily. Well, oh, I just have this little business deal to do, but, uh, okay. but, psh, I've been like, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How you been? Oh, Hi, I'm Kay. Hey, Kay. And I'm single. Oh, okay, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm rude, I'm sorry. Bobby, these are my close friends. This is Kay, and this is Sharon. A pleasure. Sweet lady. <laughs> so, Bobby, how do you know Courtney here? Yeah. Are you two oh. ex-lovers? Oh, oh really? no, 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 no. No. Just wonder. Really? Oh, 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 slow that down. Nothing like that. Nothing <laughs> like that. My brother Mike <laughs> almost made an honest woman out of this one right here. Honest? Come on. Really? This lying bitch. Whoa. Okay, in too many times. No, no, no. no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just saying. Hey, you, you were engaged? See? That's what I'm talking about. Honest? Oh. How are you going to be engaged and we don't even know about it? I, I've well, said too much. I, I'm sorry. No. It, it was... Said too much. So tell me how long you're going to be in Philly. Oh, uh, a couple of months. You tell me, uh, brings you ladies out tonight. I'm just down at No Chase. No Chase. Apparently hey. I've been going to the wrong spot. <laughs> well, where are you coming from? I had a business meeting with a colleague of mine at Andover's, but that is not important. What is important is making sure that you are not calling this a night right oh, now. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid so. We got long days and short nights and... That's just how it is when you got a J-O-B. Oh. oh, I definitely know how that is. Because <laughs> you need to have one in order to be with me. Oh. oh. You feel me? Oh, you're out of pocket. Oh. I'm just it's saying. Dear. I mean, he does have on a suit. You know, maybe. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Right. Okay. Thank you for noticing, Kay. Sweet. <laughs> but you can't allow that to get in the way of enjoying yourself in this life. No. But you can't let parking tickets get in the way either. Okay, well, Bobby, it was good to see you. It was great to see you too, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm going to tell my brother that I ran into you. Okay. Yeah. Occasionally I get ticked off, but who wouldn't? Getting ticked off and breaking somebody's nose are two different things. Not if you do it at the same time. So what about the whole sex thing? Is that why you called me out here? Yeah. Hi. Wow, imagine running into you on back-to-back -back days. What are the odds? Well, it's a small city. Indeed small. What a beauty it is. Bobby, let me... Sharon, this is my brother Mike. Engaged, Mike? <laughs> no. <laughs> but yes, this is Mike. I heard about your, uh, your interesting running last night. Well, I can't say I know too much about you. Well, I'm afraid I can't say the same thing about you. Her brother Bobby's been telling me a lot of good things about you. Did he tell you she liked her space? Like, come on, man, we're in a park. Don't feed a pigeon or something, man. We're trying to have a conversation. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to Chris. Chris, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, it ain't a pleasure to meet that tie, I'll tell you that. What's that? Your tie. Why do you have a tie on at 90 degrees weather? It's humid, man. Come on. I'll put a t-shirt on. You're like, looking like you're running for park ranger or something, man. Pretty sure you got them puddle pits, too, don't you? I get it. That's very funny, Steve. It's Chris. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. It's kind of late for that, don't you think? Well, maybe we'll run into each other again. Soon, I hope. Soon? Tell Courtney I say hi. How about you tell her? I'm pretty sure you got like a cricket phone or something. What two grown men walk together with umbrellas? Well, who's that? They're so just friends of Courtney. Uh, I hate Courtney. I cannot believe there was an all-out brawl. I mean, are we talking about the same Christopher? I was hoping to see some pop up on World Star. <laughs> I think he did okay. I'm proud of him. Okay isn't marriage material. Besides, he's lucky Bobby didn't smack him upside the head. All right, don't let this shirt and tie fool you. Bobby can throw down. Whatever. I want to know about engaged Mike. 
Are you guys on good terms? No, no, no. I am not getting involved in this little experiment of yours. Count me out okay, of it. Okay, come on, Cole. I'm no, not asking you to be involved in the whole experiment. I'm just mm -hmm. asking you to hook a little something up. No, I'm not hooking nothing little something up. No. Come on, Courtney. Bobby has been the first one to get a reaction out of Chris. I've been trying to get him to that point. Do you know what you're asking me to do? I'm asking you to help a friend. Oh. You know, I was thinking that Chris was the crazy one in all this. See, I'm gonna start reconsidering that. Ooh, got him. Yo, snap. Snap. What? Don't forget, dude. You know I got that interview, man. Don't be late, man. Four o'clock, dude. For real. Chris, how's it going? I'm good, dude. Like, you know, there it is, man. I can do it. Yeah, I seen the boy Bobby Lang. He looks like a weirdo. Really? Just talk to me, Okay. Just talk to me. Hey. Three piece? Okay. Are y'all serious? Are y'all really? Why don't y'all just hug each other and kiss? Like, Acting like real girls right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know all this sensitive activity. I know what? I blame Tyler Perry, Ralph Tresvan, Brian McKnight. Every sensitive person you know is you two right now. Y'all need to stop. You know what? Y'all need to watch Oprah or something or play with each other's chess or something. Twirl each other's chess hairs or something. I don't know. That's what don't okay. even come right. on TV, dog. Yeah, Oprah don't come on no more. But don't talk to your man. Bring him back an application. Uh, that's on you. You go ahead and talk to him. I'm, I'm not talking to his ass. I'm not ass. talking to you until I'm you not, get a bigger I'm not talking to you until you get a job. What's up, Christopher? Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you serious? <laughs> you have not got off from the same spot since I left, <laughs> have you? What do you expect? Oh. He's a bum. Something's wrong with my man a bum. Oh, hush, hush. woman, hush. A good way to defend your man, boo. He may be a bum on the couch, but he puts the work in the bed. Oh, <laughs> you do realize there are other black men out there, right? Ones mm. with jobs, whatever. Yes. Like Tommy, for example. Ew, mm. man, what? I got a fucking job. Yeah. You I do know it's something out there called birth control. Babe, stop. Hey, man, That's don't so hit me. Everybody knows she got like 30 kids. Okay, really. Whatever. You still hanging with this loser? Uh, this, this, uh, he, he, Chris, man. I know him from Chris. Really? So why are you always over here then? I mean, I, I, I like the atmosphere. The ambiance is cool. Oh, no, for real? You know, it's all right. Playing games with this loser? This, he's a bum. Right. How about you help him get a job? How well, about no, you do that? No, Chris, he about to start working with Chris, because I can't, I wear suits and shit at my job, and oh, you just need guys sneaks and sweats. <laughs> well, anyway. I felt like I just had to do this. Is that why we didn't go to a restaurant? <laughs> I thought you were just being cheap. Oh, <laughs> he is being go. cheap. And this wine is cheap. Stop. Oh, wow, this man he that. opens up his home to the ladies and they call him cheap. <laughs> He's actually, uh, I, I got your back. Look, he makes the best salmon dish in the country. Thank you. In the country, oh, in wow. the, And I'm not just saying that Big because statements. he got me this job. <laughs> Michelin rated, good looking out. I appreciate that, bro. I see someone who appreciates oh. I mean, look, trust me, I could have taken you to any restaurant in Philly. You could have, yes. Ones. I can However, name a few. <laughs> However, and a night of specialists tonight, you deserve the absolute best. Is that right? That is right, especially for a reunion such as this. Mm. Huh? Especially this one, right? That's right. Yeah. No, 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 with that being said, with that being said, cheers to uh, friends and uh, possible rekindled romance. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Cheers to that. All right. Cheers. <laughs>
people want to know what I put on there when it's said references. Oh, here you go. What you, what, what, you, what you put on this now? Put these motherfucking nuts on that application, Nick. I even drew two little balls like this and put like little whiskers on them. No. And had smiley faces on them. Uh, they ain't giving me that job. They gonna look at me like I'm fucking crazy, matter of fact. Right on the app. Draws on the Me, nigga, I'm not trying to fuck up the current situation I got, dude. What the fuck, man? I'll tell you what it is. It look like they just got finished fucking. Shit, look at them, man. I, nigga, I don't even look that happy when I bust a nut, so I know she bust a nut. Shut up, man. Nobody trying to hit don't that, Don't get man. mad at me because she got the little white shit on the cheek, nigga. That means she took it in the face. Oh, don't say that. Oh, Yeah, she sharing. took it don't in the face. That. Balls oh. in the face, nigga. Uh, shut up, man. Shut up. You better go do something before she... Oh, good evening. Man, I help you. No, you can't help us. You can help yourself. Taking off that bullshit shirt you got on. Ladies, do you know these gentlemen? Gentlemen? Gen what? Who? Snap, take your project behind home. What's, what's, what's going on tonight? We just had dinner with some of Courtney's friends. Ah, this is your little friend from the park. That's nigga, right. little friend? Nigga, this, nigga, come here. Nigga, this, nigga, this, nigga, it's chunk popping season, nigga. Let off in this nigga face right now. Fuck the talk, let's go. Say the word. Say the word. Say it, nigga. Trunk popping season, nigga. What's going on here? Is there something I need to know? Calm down, calm nigga, down. Nigga, calm, calm my down, ass, calm nigga. Down, calm down, So, did you lovely ladies have a lovely time tonight? Yes, Chris. We did. Thank you. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you again, Chris. Any friend of Courtney's is a friend of mine. Oh, mm -mm, no, I don't know him. Him either. Well, you guys missed a lovely evening. Miss? How we miss some? Um, you know what I'm saying? We weren't even invited to, Miss Lady. Not invited. Indeed, it was. I had no idea Sammy could do you like that. Oh, so that's how you do? I eat, didn't know either. You buy a fish and eat the fish? Uh, well, ladies, okay. I think we better get going so we can make that 9 30 movie. Okay, you know what, Bobby? I think we're going to call it a night. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I had a lovely time, but I'm a little sleepy. I think it was the wine. This nigga gave a wine. Well, Fuck you see what it did to my brother Mike. Knocked out. Okay. We'll do it again. Good night. You have a good night, too. You're crazy. So, you live in the uh, projects, huh? Hey, what? Well, I was thinking I have some leftover salmon upstairs I was about to throw out. I shake the shit out you. I'm just saying. I know things are rough for you guys in the projects, and I figured I could donate some of my leftover food to you. I mean, do whatever you want with it. I'm sure you have roaches to feed, too. You just, you me man and we from the projects you're gonna go out like that I'm saying personally you know me I was ready to go down I was ready to bust pop the trunk and everything and you over there telling something you need a moment a moment how you gonna let this sucker tight shirt dude take your girl like that man and he gave us some wine straight wine so whatever personally let me tell you something look at me dude he fucked her. no he didn't good too you know what I'm saying I don't know what it is I guess these new smooth Corny dudes is the new thugs or something, man. What? You from the projects, right? Yeah. But you never got into a fight your whole life. Never. Because you're from there, that don't make you tough. Yo. Dude, you ever let a little Girl Scout smack you in the back of your head with a box of cookies before? A cookies? You know why? Why? Because I bust guns. That's you, what I do. You've never I'm had a I'm a shooter. Gun. I ain't got to fight. My hand's too sexy to fight. Kind of gun I'm a guys? shooter. What kind of gun you got? It don't matter. It don't matter. All that matters is that I bust my guns and I let it off. I said what kind of gun you got, so it don't matter. Yo, 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 I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but Sharon is only doing this to test you out, man, because she knows you have a problem with your anger. That's true. That's true. I ain't gonna front. I almost grabbed a nigga head and bust it to the car. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, That's what I'm talking but about. You did. Why don't you shut the hell up? But you didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I felt awkward not doing it. But I, got, I gotta admit this, man. 
Felt kind of good to control my anger. For there the you first go. Time. It's working. Felt good because I was getting, I was getting there. But then something just said, "Hey, man, you love Sharon. Bring it down." Digress. And it came down, yo. Just digress. It came down. What the hell? You sound like him, yo. Y'all some suckers, man. I mean, look, we already got one chump in the crew. We gonna have two now. Yo, man, I, I really can't deal with all this bitch ass this is going on right now, man. I'm about to show, I'm about to do some real thug shit. I'm about to go to the store, steal some Twizzlers, cupcakes, choke a squirrel. I'm gonna do whatever, man. Yo, I'm done with y'all, man. Like, this ain't about me. I'm from the projects, man. I ain't got time to be done with y'all. I'm done with y'all, man. I'm out. What is his problem? What is his problem? You gonna cry when you get in the car. Oh, man. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Man, I lost my anger, yo, but I'm a little bit worried, though. Worried about what, man? Dude, he be making a smile, yo. Oh, but I know her smile, dude. He ain't like the mother dude she was on a date with. Uh, he a wild card. He wild wasn't card. in the plans. Oh, he ain't better than you. Yeah, but I'll be lying to you if I tell you one word. Oh, what are you worried about? I'm taking her. Have you been paying attention oh, to anything we've been I'm saying? I'm listening. I'm listening. Yo, let me ask you a question. Why the hell are we the only black guys out here and there is no baseball game going on? Who picked this spot? Did you pick this? I don't like the fact that this dude, man, got a job. You got Okay, he got a job. He dressed nice. The suits ain't nothing. Look at me, man. All I wear is t-shirts and hoodies. That's you. And that looks good on you, by the way. I like that shirt. And I guess I should have told you. You want me to take care of this? No, I got this. Can you go get us a table, please? Wow. Really? Second date? That's part of the so-called project, Tim? It's not a date. Oops. He wanted to talk about a business venture. It sounded interesting, so we came to talk. You don't have anything to worry about. He could have called you on the phone, man. I ain't got Second date, huh? Yeah, it sounds like all bets is off to me. Like, I don't even have that anger issue that you're saying I got. I don't even have that. Just, everyone got a job. Like, come on, look. This is for you. Sharon, is everything all right? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Everything is all right, man. Chris, congratulations on the job. I really got to go. Your waiter will be right with you. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. So, tell me about this business venture. Well, truthfully speaking, I'd much rather hear about your exciting experiment. I don't know how exciting it is. I've just always been really fascinated with the human psyche, and an associate of mine wants to prove a point that therapy doesn't work and it's just a bunch of mind games. Mm, and you being in the profession, you find his or her comments to be insulting, I presume. Not insulting, just disappointing. I think if more people in our community sought help for their mental issues, then we would have people feeling a lot more full of hope and a lot less helpless. <sighs> Brains and beauty. Hello, my name is Emma, and I'll be your server for this evening. Can I start you guys off with a drink? Uh, can I have a glass of Moscato, please? Sure can. And you, sir? Uh, I'll have a gin and juice. Thanks. Okay, excellent. I'll be right back with your drinks. Excellent. So why don't you tell me about this big top secret business deal? Well, basically, I have a love for the city of Philadelphia. See, currently we have our two main offices out on the West Coast, but I had a meeting with the mayor last week and I'm confident that we'll be building another building here in the city. Oh wow, city. that's great. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. Maybe you can think about relocating your office to a better part of the city. That's a thought. Or, while you're taking meetings with the mayor, you can ask him about the parking ticket. Please, this is the city of Philadelphia. Not even God himself can get out of paying for a parking <laughs> ticket. That's true. Here you go. Do you guys need a few more minutes? Oh, well, I, I did ask for gin and juice. Well, that's all we have today, sir. Oh, in okay. a place like this, that's... Yes, a place like this. That's fantastic. Do we need more time for your order? Sure, Edna. Edna, It's right. Emma. Oh, okay. Okay. This must be your first week. Well, I've been thinking. So since you're a therapist and all, and I have some issues and such. You have issues? Well, a couple. 
No, not being able to cook isn't an issue. You don't need therapy, you need a cookbook. Oh, being in a restaurant setting like this, I, I don't know, I'm having these horrible flashbacks of, of burnt toast and, and salty steaks. Oh, you poor thing. I'm not on the clock, but I'd still have to charge you. That's fine, I think I'm good for it. <clears throat> so, Mr. Bobby, why don't you tell me a little bit more about what it is that's been bothering you? Well, Doc, started about a few days ago. I was all set to go back to the West Coast. And then a uh, few situations have come up that have made me change my mind. Specifically because of a lady. Not just any lady. This one is intelligent, articulate, Beautiful. Man, she's beautiful. You know, getting that parking ticket the other day was the best thing that happened to me. And if that doesn't happen, then our paths will never have crossed. So, Doc, what is a man to do? Well, in my professional opinion, mm -hmm. The Philadelphia Parking Authority really doesn't play with parking tickets, so I'd be sure to pay that right away. Oh, hell no. What is this? Yo, you're late. Amber? <laughs> Don't call me that C-Rock. Call me A-C. Well, what the hell does C stand for? Confused? Crazy? What? What the crap shit is this? What, you think we're in kindergarten? Top of the line bike. You talking about? That's all I got. Call yourself a man. Yo, Pop! Can I help you with sweetheart? Yo, can I get the G-Ride? My man brought his bike. And it's not a bike. It's an elementary school bike and there's no room on that for me. Can I meet your friend? Yo, man. Come here. Snap's cousin and shit. Pops. I'm Christopher. Christopher. Hi, Christopher. How you doing? Nice Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet yeah. you, too. Listen, uh, where are you kids going tonight? I told you, do not get in my business. Wow. Oh, isn't she sweet? Lovely, huh? Yeah, go, huh? that's what she's like and lovely. All right. Let's go. Chris, listen. Listen, yeah. I know she likes your kind. My kind? Your kind, yeah. Now, uh, it's a curse for me. Curse? Yeah, it's a curse. Everybody has a little bit of a curse on them. That's my curse. Now, if you bring her home pregnant, I'm going to have to fuck you up. So, fuck me up. Just have a good night. Enjoy. Drive safe. You heard what he just said to me? No, but you're going too slow. Let's go. So seriously, Mickey D's? That was your idea of a date? Yeah, what's wrong with Mickey D's? You know, I truly do believe that the newspaper industry is not yet dead. <laughs> when is the last time you picked up a newspaper? This morning. So, what? Yo! Yo, where are you going? Well, 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 look what we have here. It's a nice day for a nice little walk through the park, isn't it? Well, it really all depends. What is a nice day without great company to share it with? Eh, uh, eh, uh, share. Uh, you know about that word, don't you? Yeah, I know how you Hollywood boys get down. You're one of them swinger types, aren't you? Yeah, I heard anything flies over there. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, if you must know, I'm originally from Philly. Philly? But what part? Bel Air? North Philly. <laughs> north. You from north? Yeah, you might have rolled through north. You're from no north. Friend of yours, I presume. <laughs> Listen here, Christopher. I can see what you're doing. Let me tell you something. Just because I may have moved out of the so-called hood doesn't mean I'm without where I came from. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> That's one of your little new slang words you learned? 
Where'd you get it from? Blackopedia? Your Urban Dictionary? You fuck around got it as an app on your guys, phone. Guys, guys, let's be a little mature here. Yeah, I see right through you, man. Oh yeah? yeah? What is it that you think you see, you know my what I friend? See? I see a pretender. You're uh, pretending to be somebody smart, but deep down, you're just as dumb as everybody else. Stop faking it, man. <laughs> you know what's ironic here? A man who cannot keep a job for more than a month at a time is calling me dumb. I mean, even you can see the irony in that, come right? On, come on, you guys, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> so you discussing my business with him? Uh, Chris, it's not like that. Oh, your feelings hurt. Was that too bad air for you? Or do you see my no Philly Bobby, style coming out now? Man, you just as dumb helping. as me, man. Don't try to act like you somebody you ain't. Come on, man. I know what it is. You dumb. You know how dumb you are? You don't even realize this experiment that she planned on. Why you think I keep popping up? Huh? You think I just keep showing up from anywhere? Yeah, dummy. She's treating you like tissue, nigga. You're about to be flush. Yeah, that's right. I'm crazy. I'll take that. I'd rather be crazy than a damn fool like you. But stop. He's the experiment. Listen, I was going to tell you, I just, I got caught up in things. Listen, I know you felt something the other night, but then I saw it in your eyes. I don't care what this idiot says. You're more than just an experiment, you understand? Idiot? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to watch all his name calling, family. Sis, for real. Okay. Nigga, don't talk. Is there something wrong with me? Why can't I find someone to love? They spoil me like a king. It's still not enough. That's what I'm talking about. He did the right thing. Yo, you think you broke his jaw? Like seriously, you know, real talk, we need to go celebrate now. We need to go to the top of the projects, bust off some guns, you know what, what? I'm saying? Pop some champagne, uh, get it jiggy, you know what I'm saying? That's what we supposed to do. Up. Damn, man. Just like that. I lost her. Dog, you haven't lost her yet. Yo, dude, he lost her. Trust me. I mean, for real, our boy has a chemical imbalance. Damn that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why he wants his chemicals balanced any goddamn way. Look, look, look. Are you serious? Like, do any of the brain cells still work, or did you use them all sniffing glue in kindergarten? Hey, man, I got about a trillion of them things. I can lose a few. It don't matter. It's over, man. I screwed up. You want her back. Shane was right. Listen, you want her back. Right? Okay, okay, that's obvious to see that you want her back. So, all we gotta do is show that Mr. Perfect isn't as perfect as he claims to be. Hey, how you doing? I have a 3 o'clock appointment with Mr. Lane today. Yes, he's expecting you. You can go right in. Great, thank you. Mr. Lane, good to meet you. Mr. Barnes. All right. Have a seat. No problem. Uh, yeah. Uh, excuse the mess. No. It's a temporary office. I'm just renting it for right now until my other space gets built. Uh, so please, excuse right. me. Right. Um, now, tell me exactly how you heard about us. Well, I um actually. Excuse me. One moment. Oh yeah, I have to take this. Excuse me, please. Hi, sweetheart. No, no, not yet. Tell mommy I should be there soon, though. I love you too, honey. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Right. Uh, pardon me. Now tell me, uh, where were we? Yo, man, you sure it's the right house? Man, I guess that's what the address said. I mean, it's dark as hell out here. I don't want to go to jail, all right? I got a nice situation at home. I got my white girl. What? I got my Xbox Live. I ain't trying to do no hard time for you two dudes. Seriously. Chill, 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 chill. There's him pulling up right here. Oh, oh, oh. All right, hurry up and get your phone out. Yeah, it's on now. Hey, girl. Hey. How you doing? I just wanted to call and see how my girl's doing. No, I've been better. Have you talked to Chris? No, not since the incident. You don't sound like yourself. 
I just, I really think I made a big mistake with this whole experiment thing. You think? I told you. I told you it was crazy. What about Bobby? What's going on with him? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, he's a great guy, but look at the way that we met. Look at what I did to him. I don't understand how we could have anything after that. You never know. Okay, are you going to tell him that? No. Yeah, probably. I mean, it is the right thing to do. Oh, gosh. You know, just, what does your, your handbook of crazy say? What's up with you and Mike? I've been over him for a long time now. Okay, I was just doing that as a favor for you. Courtney, I really miss him. You know what? I'm a mess. Let me, let me get off the phone. I'll talk to you later. Wait, 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 listen. Listen. Everybody deserves a second chance. Even the unemployed. He has a job. Doing what? As a prison cook? Bye, Courtney. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go fish! Did you show her yet? I ain't show her yet, man. God. What are you waiting for? She ain't picking up my calls, man. Hey, who cares? She, did she move? No, she ain't moved. Exactly. What are you waiting for? Check your pockets. Check your pockets. Check, check, check. check your pockets. What are you, you looking at me like? Check your pockets. What the hell is what, what this? Snap, what's Snap giving oh, you? Man. Snap set me up. What do you got? This is me, man. Okay, this is me. You ain't got the front for me. Check your pockets. <laughs> Boom, exactly. Okay, now the rain is not gonna walk itself over there. Okay, it's, it's not gonna walk itself over there. Oh, you want me to walk over? Use your mind and work your spine, baby. Smart, That's baby. what it is. Come Smart. on, yeah. I'm gonna walk over. There. All right, go, go, go. I'm gone. All right, I look good. I'm straight. You're good. Open your eyes a little bit. Just a little bit. Boom, there you go. That's the look. That's the look. All right. Yo, why is Sierra leaving so early? He had to go see Sharon about something. Sharon? Dude, I thought they broke up. Like, really? What is going on here? You know, I don't like what he did. My calls me Amber. She's a really good girl. That ain't nothing. Ah. Are you still single? What? You know, Snap tells me you're saving yourself. Are you really still a virgin? Snap. Yo, Snap is a liar. No, you don't have to get out of the car. You know, normally people don't wear pajamas to go out to dinner. You're lucky you as fly as you are to be able to get away with that. Bobby, I'm really sorry. Hmm. You know, on the ride over here, I could sense something was wrong. I was trying to convince myself different, though. Look, is it my... No, it really isn't. It's Chris. You know, truthfully, he needs help. But I think I went about it all wrong. And I know you don't believe me, but he's really a great guy. He's got a good heart. And he's come a really long way with his ankle. Chris! 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 Bobby! Bobby! I told you. I told you. That fake Fresh Prince ain't what he pretend to be. Chris, what are you talking about? Look, I got him. 
I got his ass, Sherry. I told you. I got his ass. I followed his ass, and I got him. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. What the hell? What do you think now? Unbelievable. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? Who's the idiot now? Huh? Yeah. This. This is what you want. Bobby, wait. Huh? Wait. Baby, we got him. When you're done messing with crackhead Tyrone Sharon, you give me a call. Hold up, man. Hold on up. I exposed him. Chris, hmm? I already knew about his ex-wife and his daughter. Yeah. yeah, I already knew. And to think I considered working things out with you. No, no, baby. no, no. Congratulations. You didn't need any help screwing it up. You no, did no. it all by yourself. Yeah, I screwed it up. What about his wife and his kid? Bye, Chris. Huh? Goodbye. No, hold on. Wait a minute, though. I got this. Huh? Hey, maybe I got this. Where you going? Thomas said if I bring you the ring tonight, you just gonna say I do. Where, the f Where you going? Sharon! Sharon! I don't believe how British both this got their ring. Say all my got their salary. I ain't got no more money. I'm about to pawn this motherfucker. I can send my money back. Courtney, it is cold out here. I know, I know. I'm about to go get back in my bed. No, you, all you do is stay in the bed. I mean, you barely go to work. You don't even answer your phone anymore. And I don't care if I have to drag you. Hi. What is this? Courtney. You better not mess this up. I owe you. Ah, shut up and go over there. Got here. You tell me. Let's go and talk about it. Hey, let me help you with that, man. Thank you, thank you, young man. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, young man. You're such a gentleman and a handsome one at that. Oh, well, thank you. Young lady, better hold on to him. Wow, walk around Philly long enough, you run into everybody. Uh-huh. Dr. Marshall, I'm sorry. Let me introduce you to Sharon. Sharon, Dr. Marshall, my therapist. Sharon, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've heard lots about you. Good things, too. All good things. All right, well, I've got to go. Uh, but nice meeting you once again, Sharon. It was nice meeting you. And I'll see you on Thursday. Thursday it is. Okay, take care. I won't be late this time. All right now. All right. Your therapist? Yep. And you'll see her Thursday. Skip, yep. skip. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Hey, hey. Oh, man, y'all right? Good? I'm good. You straight? Hold on, let me have a look at I hurt you, did I? No, 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 you good, man. You Sorry good, about that. No problem, man. Sorry about that. It's cool, it's cool. Chris, what's going on here? Well, what? The old lady, your therapist, now you're helping people off of bikes? Just trying to show you that I've changed. That's all. Yeah, see, I realized that I was wrong in trying to make you marry me before I made a man of myself. You did? Yeah, we're doing a lot of thinking. The little time we had away, we're doing a lot of thinking. Okay. I'm hungry. You hungry? I guess I could eat. Let's go get a sandwich. A sandwich? Yeah, a sandwich. You want to get a sandwich? Thank you. Well, go. Listen, look. I think I owe you an apology, too. I got so carried away in trying to help you that I think I took things way too far and got out of hand. I'm sorry. Wow. So you saying you was wrong? So you saying they should take your license and fire you? Don't get smart. <laughs> they gave you pickles again? Babe, do you want my sandwich? It doesn't have any pickles. No, he's off.
Gotcha. <laughs> Chris, why would you put a ring in my food? Oh, that's what they do in all the movies, the romantic movies, right? They put the rings in the food, right? This is not a movie. And me choking to death on my engagement ring is not romantic. Hold on. dirty. This ain't mine, eh? Hold on, wait the key. <laughs> yes. So I'm talking about Shannon. Look, Shannon. I can't promise you that I'm not going to be mad. I can't promise you that I'm going to be perfect. But I can't promise you I can give you the man that you deserve. I can be him. Tell him. I can be him. Have I mean? with that pickle, bro. See? Damn business, man. Gonna put pickles on my sandwich. I knew it. Gotcha. This is true. denial. Can't let go of the fire. Of the one that I used to be with I wanna be in love Have someone I can trust I wanna be in love Wanna let go all of me Be someone's everything I wanna be in love I wanna be in love Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God to witness the joining of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Into this holy union, Christopher Jackson and Sharon Moore have come to be joined. If any of you can show cause as to why this man and this woman should not be joined in marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Sharon, do you take this man to be your husband, to love and honor, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Are you sure? Sorry. Christopher, do you take this woman to be your wife, to love and honor, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? <laughs> you got damn right I do. <laughs> oh, that's my boy right there, player. I'm sorry, Father. Yes, I do. Bishop, the rings. Chris, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and as a symbol of your patience for allowing us to grow together and not only become the best of friends, but the best lovers. You mean the world to me. I love you, Sharon. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful from diddly umptious. Whoa, 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 whoa. You hitting on my wife? Uh, yeah, don't my get apologies. knocked out. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> Finish. Jeez. Once again, it's Bishop. Pastor Bishop? What's the difference? Give me I a get kiss. paid <laughs> Heavens, may God bless you both, and I recommend church twice a day, three times on Sunday for you, my son. I'm out of here. You guys aren't paying me hazard pay. Whatever. What's wrong with this guy? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Hope that check bounce. Uh huh. Yeah. All the craziness out there in the world. Yeah. We need some positive stuff yeah. out there to keep us going. Yeah. Keep us jumping. Yeah. Keep us energized. Yeah. Uh huh. Now you can use the refill, my man. Thank you. I got you. Steady, calm, easy as it goes. Trouble, calm, the troubles also go. How many times did someone told you no? Ah! So <laughs> Bro. Uh, your name Amber? No, it's C Rock. 
Z Rock. Get yourself together. Yeah, go, man. Oh, oh, my leg, my leg. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, the system, it helps. Hey, man. I can't go to jail. <laughs> It's delicious, trust me. Supposed to be red. It's fine, huh? Well, it, it'll turn red. Okay? You guys need, um... <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Keep the drinks coming and the love too. And if I haven't said it yet, I love you. Take it as you will, I'm a love connoisseur. If you're against me, you're a love saboteur. Look in your girl's eyes, look in your man's eyes. Become one with whomever you dedicate your life. And if you alone before they go and cut the lies, find somebody else who by themselves and get a ride. This is the rhythm of the night. Supply the love, you know the demands of Throw your hands up